Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to undo and redo actions. To get started, add any component you want to the 3D world. I'll just drag one component from my e-catalog. And let's start by moving this component. So I'll select it, turn on the Move tool, and move it along the x-axis. And if you want to cancel or undo an action, press the Control plus Z key, or the Z key. And notice it cancels the last action I performed, so instead of having the zero component over here, it canceled that action and moved it back to the original location before I moved it. In some cases you may change your mind and you want to redo an action you just canceled. It's very simple. Press the Control plus Y key. Notice that zero component goes back to the location of where I moved it earlier. So once again, to undo an action, press the Control plus Z key. And to redo an action that you just canceled, press the Control plus Y key. Now if you want to have some good indicator for whether or not you can undo or redo an action, go to the Quick Access Toolbar, click this arrow here to customize it, and go ahead and select or tick the Undo command, and tick the Redo command. So now these controls are visible in the Quick Access Toolbar. So when I change tabs, you can see that they're still available. So if we go back to the Home tab, I can undo the action of moving the zero component, and notice here it goes back to that location. And now the redo command is available, so I can redo that command, and the zero is now back at that new location. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.